Finally, this day's over. It's been a long, very, very frustrating, stress provoking day. But in one sense, that has just been the perfect opportunity for me because this day, this week, is about willpower and actually being present, taking in the feelings. I'm feeling I really want to understand this dopamine system because when I really fully grasp everything it's easier to me to make the connections and how it affects me I take it in on a deeper level dopamine it actually is a neurotransmitter of some kind it stimulates the different areas in our brains that releases the different hor hormones that makes us feel stuff it gives us urge to go after what we want and that goes back to prehistoric days when we need the motivation the urge to go hunt for food or to make babies <laughs> it's a survival mechanism for us to to make sure we keep on living for generations to come but that's that's the carrot part to motivate us but dopamine also controls the stick the the whip it stimulates part of the brain that releases stress hormones it stresses us to really go after that that need that urge to go for food to go for sex or whatever it might be stress pushes us to do it so we have the carrot and we got the stick but also it works the other way around when we get stressed from external sources it makes us urge dopamine kicks that's why we go to chocolate to sex to to movies or whatever our addictions may, might might be we are pushed towards those things when we are stressed that's why we all of a sudden wants to eat when there's a lot of shit going on in our life it worked backwards in that way and today i have really been focusing in on how how i've been feeling in these moments and as it happened i had a very stressful day due to some freaking hard ass work tasks made me realize how sensitive I am to this and especially the food part because that is my weak spot and as soon as the resistance came anxiety stress I started to think about food food in a lot of different ways now I'm gonna run like crazy because there's my train I wonder if I will make it this time So throughout the day, it was just so obvious how this stress really triggered these dopamine seeking kicks in me. I think I ate like 10 fruits, urge to just check my mail all the time. Checking my phone felt resistance in my tasks and it just made me crave these dopamine kicks. And I realized the same thing going on last night because I do my editing on the evening when I get home. That means I want to get finished as soon as possible so I can go to bed and that is actually my main reason for not getting to bed failed my willpower challenge to go to bed early last night too and it's always the same pattern i eat more and more intensively the later it gets at night the higher my stress level becomes because i see it now that i get really stressed out at the evening and that is really not what you want when you want to go to sleep so i'm kind of having a fundamental error here in my my whole sleeping pattern but ah but I, I, i'm not ah but I don't intend to, to, the point is not to give you all my feelings and details. What I want this to result in is that I want you to do this observation yourself because it's so powerful to, to see yourself, to look at yourself objectively and see how you react because of these things. And that is the realization I've done these days. I see the connection and it's, it's powerful because then you're able to 
act in a more objective sense because you know why you're acting the way you're acting and that's why it's so so important to do this analyze and observation of yourself and that's my whole my whole consensus about this what i've been talking about now my issues why i share them to make you go through the same things you can realize the same thing for you but in your context and with with your problems do this observation exercise of your own what is your weak spot when it comes to willpower it's the promise of reward that drives us the want these chemicals are making us believe that if we just eat that cake if we just buy that sweater we are gonna be happy we, we actually think that that's how our system works that if we actually pursue this want we will be happy but that will never happen that's the thing it's just an illusion to make us go for that thing it never actually gives us that happiness but that's also why we need to practice this for ourselves take in what you're feeling when you're experience these things when you're eating a candy bar what is happening in your brain are you feeling satisfied afterwards during before the pursuit of reward is dopamine's only task it's not gonna stop and it is gonna keep doing it over and over again it's not gonna stop but sure you can get satisfaction out of doing things I get satisfaction out of eating but what was kind of a aha moment for me was that the the joy I got out of eating kind of disappeared quite quickly the first few minutes or so it tasted really good it was really nice but then the more I ate and the less I needed it it didn't feel as good anymore and in the end when I just stood there in the fr fridge eating as I always do before I go to bed, I really didn't get any joy out of it at all. It was just, just stress driven, the dopamine forcing me to do it. The joy was totally gone. And that was kind of a realization to me, an important one. And I think you need to do these for yourself as well. And maybe then the real change can come. With those words, I'm gonna head home and do some eating, editing.